All right, so I'm, I'm a little delirious. So not a lot of sleep going on at all last night. It was as if I had energy injections right when I went to go to bed. And I could not, I think I broke the levers on the gear shift of self-regulating because I couldn't soothe myself to save my life. I had to get up and go to the bathroom a million times, stretching on the floor, snap, crackle, pop, toss, turn, toss, turn. And I don't know what was happening. My room was busy with my orbs and things like that, but no busier than any other time. I got up, looked out the window. I could see activity in the sky, no different than what it is occurring. But there was this energetic pulsating going through my body that just, I just had to accept it and say, okay. I love myself. I'm going to breathe through this. And I'm going to put my finger on my pulse. And I'm going to do my best to see if I can come to some kind of a neutral space so that I could filter the energies differently. And I failed miserably. A number of times and finally I dozed off to sleep I know it had to be at least four o'clock in the morning and at 6 45 I needed to be in the shower so it is what it is so I'm feeling a little delirious I have an interview with Tony Rodriguez this afternoon and I hope I'm on par but it is what it is so my first client was a first grader and the first grader um, doesn't understand what is happening with the smoggy, foggy, cloudy mist in the air. All this person knows is they're not allowed to go outside for recess. And so spirit began to show me the trepidation and the triggering of what occurred in 2020, 21, 22, up until now. So it was sort of poking at that storage of fear and confinement. And so in that, um, spirit was showing me how to empower this little person. So what came through was, shall we say a prayer? Yes. I said, well, first let's explain what trees and people exchange. And I said, we breathe in oxygen and put out carbon dioxide. And the tree willingly pulls in the carbon dioxide, converts it to oxygen, so we can breathe it back in again. So while we have all of these Canadian fire things happening and things are in the air, how can we empower the trees? And in turn, we empower ourselves. So the prayer came through like this. I pray for the trees to absorb and filter the breeze, restoring the air with grace and ease. I pray for the trees to absorb and filter the breeze, restore the air with grace and ease. Now let's say that out loud. I pray for the trees to absorb and filter the breeze. Restore the air with grace and ease. And we took some nice deep breaths with that. And then I went a step further. And I turned on the music with the lyrics so it can be seen, it can be felt, it can be heard, and it can be translated. Macy Gray's There is Beauty in the World. So we sang, we danced, and we changed some of the words. So we were like, 
I see blue skies, I see butterflies for us. I hear the sounds and the music, come dance to it. There is beauty in the world, 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 there is beauty in the air, there is beauty everywhere. There is beauty in your eyes. There is beauty in your hair. There is beauty in the world. Let me shake my booty to the world. There is beauty in the world. I shake my booty to the beauty in the world. So we were dancing to that, playing. And so what that does is it integrates it energetically back into the body. So the triggers are replaced with higher vibrational responses. And so the self-regulator, the barometer, the inner GPS, the God source transmitter can be stronger and in place versus rattled and out of place. So I suggest that you say this prayer. I pray for the trees to absorb and filter the breeze, restore the air with grace and ease, and maybe put on There is Beauty in the World, read the lyrics, and sing it. Dance with it. See the blue skies. See the butterflies. Shake your booty. Pick your diamond, pick your pearls. There is beauty in the world. There is beauty in the world. So if that doesn't hit your self-regulator, I don't know what does. So I'm going to continue to do this all day for myself and hopefully for my clients if I'm called to because each session is customized. But we need to work with this self-adjusting so that we are creating new patterns and new habits and releasing things that do not serve us. I may be of service please, embodimentofthesoul.com. And I'm asking each one of you to hit like, subscribe, share, and leave me a comment when you listen to this video, please. There is beauty in the air. There is beauty everywhere. There is beauty in the world. Shake your booty to the beauty in the world.